everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Welcome back. You know what time it is. Um, just got my cup of tea ready. I've been dealing with a little bit of a chest infection since I've got back up holiday. So sorry for being a bit MIA. And yeah, I just feel like I've been all over the place. I absolutely hate being ill and I hate being unproductive. And I feel like I have been unproductive because it's only really this week that I've been feeling like I can actually speak without my throat going dry and then in a big coughing fit. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd get the hot drink on hand because it always soothes there. Um, but anyway, how are you all? I hope you're all doing well. Today, as you can already see, I have a huge Primark haul to show you. And actually, this is from like before I went on holiday. So I've just dug a few bits out that I did take on holiday with me to show you because I just thought, oh my God, I didn't even share that with you. And then I do have a bag left over from before holiday that I didn't share as well. And guys, I did that thing. I had it in my head that it was another day to return, missed the return date, so now all of that stuff is um, staying in my wardrobe, or if it doesn't fit, I'll have to just sell it on Depop, so yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that, maybe, um, but yeah, anyway, thought we'd sit down and do a big primer haul today, please just excuse if you can see any marks on this shirt, I just went to get all of this out my boot, I've just had my car wash right, and I opened the boot, and all this water fell down, I've freshly faked tan, and now tan has transferred through my shirt. Honestly, so annoying. Anyway, let me shut up before I end up making this a five minute intro. Grab a cup of guys, sit comfy because this is gonna be a long one. If you wanna see what's in Primark at the moment, if you've got holiday coming up, this is gonna be perfect for you, so stay tuned. Okay, I think we'll just get the old stuff done first. Now I say old stuff, like I say, this was two and a half, three, well no, it must be longer than that because how many days do you get to return? 28 days, this is 28 days I go stuff but I feel like the majority of it still is in Primark they haven't really changed up too much so yeah do not fear um let's just jump in I'm just gonna pick everything out of the bag really randomly uh, the first thing I picked up was actually just a wash bag um so this is fine I can use this this won't be returned anyway this actually might be really good for when I go to Thailand in October no November getting my dates wrong um it's one of those ones where you can put it on like the back of a door anywhere where there is a hook to be honest with you it has a little hook thing um you can put bits here there's a big bit here there's a little pocket on the front it's quite a handy little wash bag to be fair it's quite compact as well um so yeah got that then just picked up some more microfiber facial cleansing cloths these are my absolute favorite from primark they are oh they didn't have oh price three pound honestly i swear they sneakily put the prices up all the time about you even realizing i feel like these used to be like two pound but anyway these are the best they're so super soft if like me you use a cleansing balm these are perfect so grab some more of those i then just picked up some random um face masks to be honest with you because they have some really inexpensive face masks and i always love to stock my little collection up um and once a week i always just like to do a sheet mask with Mitchell, <laughs> I get him involved. Um, so I got the bubble sheet mask for dull and tired skin, which looks quite good. I got a smoothing one with niacinamide. Niacinamide, is that how you say it? Um, again, I don't really know. These were just random. Oh, and these caffeine eye patches, these are so good. Um, they're £1.80 and you get 15 in here. And um, yeah, I always pop these on, especially if I'm going out. Well, I mean, to be fair, if ever I just look a little bit tired and my bags don't look great. Um, but yeah, especially if I'm going out on a night out, date night, anything like that, whilst I'm getting ready, I always pop a couple of these on. Also a good little tip, pop them in the fridge and yeah, it really helps deep off and make your under eye area look so good. So yeah, grab some of those. Okay, so jumping on to the first clothing thing I picked up. I actually forgot I had this. Honestly, because I saw everything in my car, I just forget what I have. And this is why I forget my returns as well. So I really need to find a system where I sort this out. Um, but yeah, I picked up this gorgeous linen green suit. So they actually do it in either like the wide leg trousers or shorts. I got both because I feel like you could wear you know that is the suit i mean obviously you could put the shorts with the blazer as well but i feel like these shorts on their own would be really nice and i don't know about anyone else but i find it so hard to find decent length good fitted shorts i feel like it's such a bane in my life at the moment i don't own many nice pairs of shorts and especially because 
we're going to Thailand in November, and I know it's going to be like a lot more casual at night. I feel like more of my outfits there are going to be shorts, top sandals. Um, so yeah, anyway, these actually look a fairly decent length, so I'm hoping they're not like too short because I just hate up your bum shorts and show just ones where you don't feel comfortable in and also i don't feel like they're flattering when they're really short especially because i'm a lot curvier on top and i've got thicker legs you know so i just prefer it when shorts are a little longer um but yeah these shorts were 10 pound i got them in a size 10 and they're just these really nice light green linen shorts um and then like i say there is the blazer you could team with it so blazer was a little bit more spenny at £26. I got this in a size 8. I'm pretty sure I got it in a size 8 because I didn't want it too oversized. I think I might have mentioned this in another video, but I love oversized blazers. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like in the past I've probably gone a little bit too oversized my blazers. I was trying one on the other day and I just thought it looks too big. Like, And to be honest with you, it was only one size up. It was like a 10. But um, yeah, I think it's because they're making them like even more bigger aren't they when they're like advertised as an oversized blazer you've got to think a 10 is probably like a 12 or 14 so yeah i'm trying to either just stick to my own size in a blazer that's oversized or only go up by one and not have it too too big because it just yeah it looks a bit ill-fitted sometimes anyway that was a whole rant um yeah this was 26 pounds size 8 looks really nice feel like it looks quite a classy blazer so we got that and then like I say to go with it there were these um gorgeous wide leg linen green trousers these definitely need an iron so I will iron them before I try them on I feel like they only had a size 8 left in these so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get my bum into these um but I will try and try them on but you know how linen fabric is especially it's not very giving no stretch so i might not get into them i don't know but these were 16 pounds so yeah a little bit more of a spenny laser set from primark as you guys know prices definitely have gone up but i don't mind paying it if the quality is good and to be fair a lot of the quality in primark seems to be quite all right like lately like i've had some really nice bits from there um anyway let's move on we'll carry on with this bag what else did i get it's been a minute since i've looked at all of this to be honest with you guys um all right we've got a dress here another green number ah, i remember what this was it was just like a little mini dress again in the linen fabric i just feel like linen is always so popular in the summer months and i also really like it because it's nice and cooling uh, this was 14 pound i got this in a size 10 again this would be perfect for day to day in the summer going on holiday just some little sandals with it um so i really like that then I picked up this, which to be fair, I'm not too sure about the colour of this. I don't know, maybe this will work. Um, it's just this little khaki like utility mini skirt. Um, so again, I got this in a size 10, it was £12. I'm not sure, it just depends like how short this is on me. I don't know, can I still wear a mini skirt? I don't know, we will see about that. I'm not really sure why I did pick that up, but anyway. Um, right, then moving on. Is this another skirt? Oh, we've got another denim mini skirt. I feel like this one I already prefer to that. So this one's got an elasticated waist. It's in a denim fabric, but it's actually a really lightweight denim. It's not heavy or anything. Um, we've got the two pockets on the sides. And I also really like the fact it's elasticated here. I think that's quite a nice detailing. Anyway, that's a denim mini skirt. We'll see how it looks on um, and all of that. I'm trying to whiz through this first bag quite quickly. So sorry if this is quite sporadic, but the second bag, is where it's at um right moving on next thing i picked up is a pair of sandals can't go wrong with primark sandals honestly girls don't go and waste your money on 60 pounds or ones like i did because they broke in three wears honestly worn them i think like the third time at the weekend and i was out at like an actual like public event with loads of people crossing the field and they just broke like full on they were like um do you know the in-between toe ones? What are they called? You guys will probably know what I mean. But they literally just pinged out and broke. Literally broke. £60. I was fuming. I am going to try and take them back to Zara because I'm not happy about that. The fact I've worn them three times and I've paid £60 for something. You can imagine how I'm feeling. Luckily at this point I had not had a drink and I drove. So um, yeah, I got in my car. Wasn't far away from home. Went and got my Primark sandals and popped them on and we was all good. Um, but yeah, anyway, I come across these Primark sandals. They were £9. I thought these were quite nice. I just really like how they're like woven. They've got this stripe detailing on. Yeah, I thought they were quite cute. Don't know how they're going to be on. So I've never owned any like this from Primark with like the woven strap over. 
so hopefully they don't rub or anything um but yeah quite like those um then next thing i picked up was this little white shirt that i thought was quite cute this was 13 pound and it's just simply a cropped white shirt kind of reminds me of like something i've had from zara with the tie up detail at the bottom it's elasticated i think this would be really nice just with like a wide leg pair of trousers you could wear a skirt with it I just feel like you can never have too many shirts in your wardrobe. I love shirts. I just think they're really easy to style and they always look super classy and just put together. So yeah, 13 pounds, size small, grabbed that. Um, then moving on to this. So this is actually a beach cover up. I didn't actually end up taking this on holiday because I don't know, like, I tried it on and I wasn't in love. But honestly, why do the hangers just get caught on everything from Primark? Um, I think this could look really nice on someone else it just i didn't, didn't feel right on me you know when you look at something and think it looks nice but then you try it on yourself and you just don't like it but then you see someone else wearing it and think oh my god but it looks so nice yeah that's how this was so this was 15 pounds just this like white kind of like broidery detailing like put out and yeah it just simply does up here and then it's like all open so just a really nice bikini cover up um yeah like I say, I think this would look so nice. Um, maybe I might try it again. I don't really know why I didn't like it. Maybe it just was a bad day. But yeah, I got this in a size 10 to 12. Um, so that's that. Um, then moving on to the things I did take on holiday and have already worn that I thought I'd quickly show you because I did get some good bits. Um, so apologies, I have to call the tags out on these so I can't tell you how much they are. But just have a look in your local Primark because they should still be in stock. So first thing I picked up, and I'm so glad I got these because I did wear these a lot on holiday, were these white linen trousers. So they're just kind of like white linen beach around the pool trousers. They are see-through, but they're perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect uh, for chucking on just with a little top. Do you know just when you want to go around the pool and have an outfit on or if you want to go into the little town and be covered up? Um, or even if you like you're at an all inclusive and you need something to wear down to breakfast i just think these are so easy to chuck on little top um, and they're so comfy as well so i got these in a size small again 10 to 12 um and yeah i really really like them and then i also picked up these white linen shorts as well again super floaty elasticated around the waist tie up i got these in a 12 they didn't have any um smaller sizes but with them being elasticated, they were absolutely fine. Um, and again, I just found these really handy when I was on holiday, just to chuck on with a little top and whatnot. Um, so yeah, got my use out of them. So I was glad I picked them up. Moving on to the next thing I took on holiday, but I actually didn't end up wearing these. To be honest with you, I definitely overpacked. I am such an overpacker because I just think I'd rather have loads of choice and loads of outfits and nothing. Uh, but then I get really sad because I didn't have time to wear everything. Um, but anyway, I picked up these gorgeous black, like, knitted um, trousers from Primark, which, again, are perfect for, like, a beach around the pool cover up. They were £16, so they were a little bit spenny. And also, they are quite thick. Um, so, yeah, I feel like if it was 40 degree, maybe it'd be a bit too hot for these. Um, but, yeah, they're really gorgeous. The only thing is, they are a little long in the length for me. Um, but, yeah, I just simply didn't have time to wear these, so... Yeah, that's why they didn't get warm. And then the last thing I picked up in this Primark shop um, was just this gorgeous little bikini. I actually did wear this on holiday, and oh, I just love the triangle bikinis that Primark do. They're so comfortable. I feel like they're really flattering, really inexpensive. And yeah, I saw this print, and I really liked it. It's just a bit of like a multicolour print. It's got pinks, green, purple, white, matching top. Um, yeah, this with the white trousers I think I wore. What did I wear for the top? I don't even think I put a top on. I just have my bikini top on. Um, but yeah, I really liked that. So that is Primark bag one, um, which like I say, I got all this like 28 days ago, but it is mostly still in store. Like I definitely seen some of that when I went in yesterday or day before. Now let's move on to all of this stuff because oh my goodness, I'm so excited about all of this. I have got quite a lot of summery bits in here, which some are a bit unusual for me, but you guys know me by now. I like to try everything out and whatever I don't like, I will return this time. I won't end up keeping it by accident. Um, so first things first, I come across this gorgeous mini dress. Oh my God, guys, how pretty is this? So it's like this pink floral, dress i feel like it's got this cow neck detailing 
only thing is at a glance is it doesn't have strapless strapless straps adjustable straps so i'm hoping that it does fit on the straps we will see on the try on um but yeah this just looks stunning i really like the kind of like asymmetric ruffle hem i feel like it's asymmetric um yeah i just feel like this is a really pretty summer dress and it was only 14 pound i just think that is such a bargain because you could definitely wear this at night time with a little pair of heels um some nice earrings so we'll see how that is on but like i say the thing is with me i always see florally prints and think oh my god they look so nice but i don't really wear them i put them on and i don't feel like me does anyone else relate um but yeah we'll see how that goes i then picked up this dress which again another colorful out there very like summer florally dress but this just really reminded me of something from zara and yeah i just love this i do love a bit of color in summer it's the only time really where color does come to play in my wardrobe um but yeah as you can see it's just this like bright pink floral dress with like bits of green and yellow in it's got like a mesh overlay on and then in particular i really like like the bust detailing as well again there's no adjustable straps which could be a bit of an issue for me but look at the end of the day if something fits and i really do like it i can always get them adjusted it's not like the biggest end of the world um i got this in a size 10 to 12 so yeah we'll see how that looks on as well okay next up moving on to some kind of like basic outfit so as you guys know one big thing i've really been trying to like introduce into my wardrobe is staples staple trousers staple tops just things i can rework and yeah they're just gonna last me season upon season and i can switch around so i come across these shorts like i say i've been on the hunt for some nice shorts these were 15 pound these are from the primark edit which i feel like it's a little bit more of like a higher priced edit in Primark everything seems to be kind of like wardrobe staples basics a little bit more spenny um but they all seem lovely quality so yeah picked up these at first glance I really like the length I really like the cut really like the tailoring of them um 15 pounds which I think is a really good price um and I got them in a size 10 so yeah we'll see how they fit on fit on does that make sense yeah was, no we'll see how they fit when I try them on um and then to go with them again from the Primark edit I got this top that was £10 it's only a basic so I know £10 might seem a little bit spendy from Primark but again the quality felt beautiful of this like the thickness of it as well feels just so nice and I feel like that teamed with the little shorts would just be such a nice day-to-day -day, you know like smart put together outfit um so yeah they had all different colors of these tops by the way as well it says it's 100% cotton. Um, I'll see how I get on with them and how it actually fits. But yeah, it feels so nice. I got this in an extra small because I wanted it to be fitted. So that is that little outfit. Um, then moving on. Oh, honestly, there's so many nice bits. Um, I don't know where to go next, to be honest with you. Okay, let me go on to this. Now, I was a bit gutted because I missed out on the top on this. I couldn't see any in my Primark. Um, but they had these little sets in. They also did them in like a light blue colour, but I kind of like wanted the black. Um, but how nice are these? So again, just a pair of shorts in this like knitted fabric. They've got pockets, elasticated around the waist. Um, these were only £8. I got them in a size 10 to 12. And they did have these like matching bandeau tops in the same obviously fabric and colour to go with. I'm so good. I'm gonna to have to go back in this week and just see if like anyone's brought one back or if anywhere in like the changing rooms, you know what I mean? And they're and they're now out because you never know. You never know. Um but yeah, that set would have been so cute. So I'm after the top on that. Um so I think that would be a really nice like day outfit on holiday. Um but equally again, you can style that with like a white top, a little black top. Um I just need to see how the fit is on them. So yeah, grab those because I thought they would be really nice too for the summer um then where do we go now i've got so much stuff it's a bit overwhelming okay here's an outfit that me and mum put together that we thought was very kind of like um sophia richie old money style and it is this knitted skirt so again this was actually part of a coordinate set but the top was out of stock which i was really good about because i thought that would look so nice but yeah it's just this knit skirt in like orange like it's got brown i think it is it's like orange it's more like a rust brown and white and i just think that's so nice um this was 12 pound i got it in a size small um so it was like right what top can we team with it because obviously the top was out of stock um so we got this like high neck white vest and i just thought like that with the skirt 
pair of sandals or heels. I just think that is such a vibe. I mean, I'm not normally one for high neck tops, but I feel like in that whole like Sophia Richie style, she wears like a lot of high neck, like classy cuts. Um, and yeah, it just looks a vibe. I feel like with my hair up, this may work. So we will see. This was only six pound, by the way, this high neck top, and it feels beautiful quality. Um, then I also picked up this white skirt. Now, I don't think I'll be keeping this because I do actually have one very similar that I purchased for my holiday from Pretty Little Thing. Um, but I just wanted to get this to show you anyway. This was £20, so it was quite spenny for Primark. And I think, actually, I picked up a matching top to go with this. Yes, it is part of a coordinate. So, um, yeah, this is what the top looks like. I feel like it's a straight neck crop. Um, it's got, like, broidery detail on, like, that. It's adjustable straps. It's elasticated at the back as well. Seems a really nice top, to be fair. I can't tell you the price, it's 14 euros, so I don't really know what that is in um, English. Um, but yeah, I got that in a size 10. And then like I say, I saw the matching skirt to go with, and I thought this would be such a cute outfit. Maybe I might end up keeping this. If this skirt isn't see-through, because the one I got from Pretty Little Thing, like this, is amazing, but it's see-through. And this is actually double lined, so I feel like this actually could be a winner. Um, but yeah, I am really into like floaty maxi skirts this summer again just more trying to like go into that classy era and just clean simple yeah do you know what i mean yeah this skirt is elasticated ways again embroidery detailing at the bottom super floaty um and yeah 20 pound this was got this in a size 10 and oh with the top that'll just be such a nice outfit i think then i actually ventured right into the pajama section they have so many nice bits in the pajama section again guys there was so many satin dresses in there that i was thinking oh would they work as an evening or day dress because yeah there was definitely some prints that i feel like could but after our last disaster i didn't bother picking them up but yeah just have a little look anyway i picked up this top this little satin green top because i definitely feel like this could work as a day top with something white on the bottom um so i got this in a size six six no not a six to eight size 10 to 12 it's got adjustable straps and i just really like the buttons going up it's quite like a floaty cami i'm feeling like this with another white skirt so this white skirt is actually a bit more similar to the one i got from pretty little thing although i say that i feel like this is double lined as well this is double lined this was only 14 so let me just quickly show you this skirt by the way guys so yeah it's just another like white maxi skirt um it's got a little slit in the front so it makes it easy to walk um a little bit more flattering 14 pound it's got elasticated waist and it also ties up although the tie doesn't actually do anything but this again would be a really nice like beach cover up um if it isn't see-through maybe something you could wear day to day but i thought with this little cami top it would just look so nice I can't believe that's only £40. I didn't even realise that. Um, so, yeah, I think that could be another really cute day or even evening outfit. Um, right. Then, moving on to this dress. This was a little bit spenny for £18. Um, but I thought, again, this was so cute. So, it is this white, kind of, like, baby doll floaty dress. Again, just in a gorgeous linen fabric. It's a bit of, like, an off-white colour, actually. What have they said? They say it's white, but I mean, my bed linen is white. It definitely is not white. Um, but yeah, this is gorgeous. They did this in red as well, but obviously I'm going to go for the white. Um, it's got adjustable straps, it's like elasticated on the back. It just seems like a real nice floaty day dress. One of them dresses that's just going to skim past you. One that I feel like will suit a lot of body shapes, to be honest with you. Um, and yeah, I really like that. Let's hope that fits. I got that in a size 10 as well. Um, right, then moving on to the last few bits. Oh my goodness, we're nearly at the end. Um, right, next up, I don't actually know where these were in Primark because it was one of them where I just saw it on the end somewhere and I was like, oh, that's so nice. Um, so yeah, maybe it was the last one um, and I did end up getting it in a 12 to 14 because of that. But how nice is this? It's like a sleeveless um, shirt. I just thought that was stunning. I really wanted this in a smaller size because I feel like it is going to be a little bit too big. Um, so yeah, again, I might have to keep an eye out. But this was £10. And again, it's just one of those tops that I feel like would just be really nice this summer. Teamed with a wide leg pair of like linen trousers. Um, again, you could put it with a skirt if you're more of a skirt girl. Um, yeah, this is stunning. But I don't know where it came from. I just randomly found it. 
as you always do in Primark. Okay, moving on to the last couple of things. We're nearly at the end of the haul, guys. Um, and the next thing I picked up was another shirt because... As I've already said, you can never have too many shirts in your wardrobe. And I actually don't really have many crop shirts. Like, other than this, I think I might have a white one and a black one. But that is actually it. Um, and because I've got so much wear out of this, like, my mum got me this for my birthday from Zara. I've worn it so much and I just love it. It goes with so many different things in my wardrobe. I've reworked it into, like, three or four different outfits already um and i saw this one in primark and i thought oh do you know what i'm gonna get that because it's a different shade of blue um and i just really like it good old primark i feel like they're on it aren't they sometimes with kind of getting inspo from zara and other places um but yeah essentially it's just this blue cropped shirt really really like the shade of it i'm not overly keen on the buttons that they've chose they're quite nice actually I think it would look much better on. Um, and yeah, it doesn't have a pocket or anything like this one. This is what I really like about this Zara one. It's got this kind of like pocket that like hangs below. It's really nice detailing. Um, but yeah, it's just a simple blue shirt to be honest with you guys. Um, £13, got it in a size medium. Really like that. Um, right, then moving on to the last thing I got. I feel like this is either going to be a big fat yes or a big fat no. Um, but I really liked the print of this. And it's another kind of like summer dress um it's a long maxi dress does it have a slit in anywhere oh that might be that might be like a deal breaker for me because normally with these like long maxi dresses i do like some kind of slit at the bottom i've said this before but you know being short you know when you wear such a long maxi dress it doesn't have like a slit one i find it really hard to walk when they don't have slits and two i don't know what it is about a slit at the bottom but i just feel like it makes it a little bit more flattering um, but yeah, anyway, this is gorgeous. It's got adjustable straps. I really like the print. They did also do this in a long maxi skirt. So if you don't like the dress but like the print, then they do do it in a long maxi skirt. So maybe you could try that. Um, but yeah, this was only 20... I say only. This was £20. It was a little bit spendy again for Primark. But I think this could look stunning. Real nice kind of like summer dress, isn't it? Um, so yeah. Anyway, guys, moving on to the last couple of bits I picked up from Primark. So I didn't actually get anything from the home section this visit. I did have a look and they did actually have a couple of nice bits in, but I didn't need anything. I was strict, told myself no. Um, because the thing is, with clothing, I'll obviously try it on and what I don't like, I'll return. Or what I don't need, I'll return. But with home stuff, it's not going back. I end up just keeping it because I'm just such a home accessory kind of person. So yeah, one thing I did get was some more clean cotton, guys back in stock at Foss Park, so um, oh, if you need some, go and run. I mean, I think I do still have like two fullish bottles, but yeah, if you don't already know, if you're new here, this is the Clean Cotton Fabric Spray. It is the best smelling spray ever. Honestly, the amount of compliments I get when people come around, they're like, oh my God, what is that smell? It's this, it just smells fresh, clean. Oh, it isn't real. It's 350, so a little bit spenny for like 150 ml fabric spray but it's so good and you can also spray it on clothes do you know if you ever have that thing where you're drying your clothes and sometimes you're just doing it on like a dryer in your house and they smell a bit like funny just spray them with this and they smell so good um anyway that's that then moving on to earrings again they have quite a lot of nice jewelry in um but didn't need too much but these earrings i thought were really nice in summary so they're just like gold with these little pearl drops at the end yeah, I just thought they'd look really nice for a nice dressing holiday. So I grabbed those. And the last thing I got was this little bag. How nice is this bag? Oh my goodness, this was only £11. It does also have like a long strap. So if you do just want to, do you know what I mean, have it like over you or something, then you can. It also has a zip on the top, which I find really hard to find with kind of like beachy, more like um, straw bags like this. Um, yeah, I just thought this was really nice. I thought, especially with like a nice black maxi dress, this, some sandals. I think it just looks really classy, very like Zara-esque. And for £11, I thought this was an absolute fine. So, yeah, I grabbed that because the one I've got, I've had it for about three years now. And it's getting a little bit, do you really just need of a new one? So, yeah. 
Anyway guys, that brings us to the end of this Primark haul. Sorry if always it's been a little bit all over the place, but I've been having issues with my camera. It keeps stop starting, stop starting. So hopefully this has all flowed and yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed it. It's given you some inspo, maybe, maybe made you want to go to Primark, I don't know. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button and yeah, I shall see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.